What is going on everyone? Back again today with another one. And I got a craving for a burger out of nowhere, but burgers are my favorite freaking thing there is, so it don't even matter. And I'm taking you today to a place where they sell all types of elevated burgers, not just your regular local joint you can find anywhere. This is a really good spot right here. All types of good combinations of food, drinks. You're about to see what I'm talking about right now. So come along with me, let's roll. All right, here we are outside of the burger spot I was talking about. We're outside of Slater's 5050. Now this is the newer location. The other location they have in the city, clear across the town, like on Henderson or something like that. Really good too, but this is a newer location in Summerlin. We're about to go inside right now and see what type of craziness they're working with. So let's roll in. refreshing drink this one right here is by huddle the smasher green apple sour got a nice little sour taste to it pinky up cheers pretty good taste actually just like green apple nice sour taste to it nice crispness to it nice cold refreshing this is a nice little drink drink number one while I'm waiting First appetizer came out, got the vampire dip right here. Yo, this is the most popular appetizer they got here. I mean, just look at this work of art. It ain't no wonder why it is. You got the nice pita bread over here. The sourdough bowl. This freaking whole thing is filled with cheese, some artichoke in there, garlic, madness. Got a little bit of cider carrots and some freaking uh, celery. I ain't using that because I ain't on no diet. This ain't no salad right here. Yo, anybody, all my lactose intolerant people out here, beware. But check out this bad boy. Look at all this melted cheese right here. So much cheese. Look at that right there. Take a little more simple chill bite at first. That is so good. So delicious. The garlickiness, the cheesiness, the crunchiness of this bread right here goes perfectly with the warmth of this hot gooey cheese so good let me be a little more health conscious real quick though let's break off some of this some of this carrots in here i don't know how this is gonna go but whatever let's try it out bone appetit bro that's pretty good too carrot boring on its own that's some bugs bunny or whatever this cheese right here so good let's try it out with a burger if there's any left though all right, I got a little dessert before the food came out. I don't care about the order of whatever. This thing right here is a milkshake. What do I tell you about this place? So extra over here. Look at so much, all the toppings, whipped cream falling off this thing because it's just so overflowing with it. So right here, like I said, you got the s'mores milkshake, got the roasted marshmallows, got an actual s'more in this bad boy, some chocolate drizzle, some ice cream, some freaking graham cracker crust on the side, topped with freaking whipping cream. This stuff looks so good right here. Let's check this bad boy out. Let me do a quick model spin of it real quick. This girl's rocking down the runway right now. Let's try this out already. I'm pretty sure this thing is mad thick, so I'm not gonna be able to get it out with one slurp out. Let's try it though anyways. Surprisingly, I was able to. It tastes really good actually. Let me get another drink. That tastes really good. Um. Nice chocolatey flavor to it. Extra sweet, just like you should want it. Got a nice thick layer of ice cream in there. This nice juicy uh, whipped cream on the top. Bustin', let's try some of this marshmallow out. 
Whew. That is good. Nice toasted marshmallow. It ain't hot, but it has a nice toasted crunchiness to it. And then of course, s'mores. S'mores, man. You're killing me, s'mores. Let's try this bad boy out already. This thing's kind of frozen though. Look at that right there. You know what, let's top it off with a little more beaties. Put a little more of the whipped cream on there and bite this bad boy already. So messy, so good. Nice crispy chocolate in there. I think that chocolate's frozen, that's why it's kind of so hard. The nice toasted marshmallow, the graham cracker, the mallow. This is a good s'mores right here. Really good shape to finish off your meal, to, to complement it, to just come here and get, or whatever you want to do, whatever your routine may be. This is excellent right here. All right, finally the moment everyone's been waiting for, the moment I definitely been waiting for, because I'm starving like Marvin right here. Food came out. Now this first burger I got right here is not your traditional burger because it's not on a regular patty or a regular bun. This one is on two freaking uh, Hawaiian rolls right here. This one is called the King Luau Burger. So in this bag boy right here, you got the freaking, of course, the signature 50-50 beef and bacon blend. You got a pineapple in there. You got some sliced Spam, some coleslaw, sunny side, sunny side egg, and American cheese. Again, like I said, on these sweet rolls right here. So I'm not gonna dig into this thing just right away like a straight savage. I'm gonna cut this thing in half, actually. I have a little class while I'm here. Let's cut this monster in half. Make it a little easier. Still super messy, but look at that cross section right there. Like I said, the patty, the spam, pineapple, coleslaw, freaking sweet buns right here. Yo, this thing looks so good. You guys seeing that right there? This smells so sweet, so, so good. Looks like it's gonna taste the same. Cheers. Mm. Yo, that is so good. This freaking patty got the nice char taste to it. Get little hints of bacon in there. The sweetness of this bun, the pineapple, the spam. You know what? I've never been too big of a fan of spam, but on here because of all the other flavors that are on it, it's, it, it's kind of overpowered a little bit. You can still taste the hint of it, but nothing crazy. Then the nice sweetness of that coleslaw gives it a whole nother bunch of flavors in it. This is really good. Right Right. And since I am watching my carbs a little bit, I went with a healthier choice on this sandwich right here. Now this is the grilled chicken sandwich. Just look at this bad boy. So this one right here, you got the grilled chicken, melted Swiss cheese, tomato, lettuce, onion, and ranch on this thing. And I upgraded from the wheat bread because I'm already doing too much salad in here as it is. Got a little brioche bun in there. And this thing came with a side of bacon ranch. As you can see, that thing's looking a little thick, a little chunky. That's because it got that freaking pieces of bacon in there. Let's try this out. Now, so for, so for those of you who don't know, this place is called Slater's 50-50. 50-50 refers to 50% blend of beef and another 50% of bacon. So you ain't getting nothing healthy, really, no matter what you get here. <laughs> Let's cut this bad boy in half. Let me show you guys this cross section real quick. You guys ready? <laughs> OMG. OMG, this is nice and healthy. Something I don't do too often, but I'm gonna do it for the tube. Full of onions, my least favorite veggie. But cheers, looks pretty healthy. I lost five pounds just looking at this thing. Exactly what you would expect from a grilled chicken sandwich. It tastes healthy, bunch of lettuce in there, tomato, onions. Still got a good taste. The chicken has a nice char to it. Good seasoning on it. Let's try some of these fries now. Let's go back to being more unhealthy. Got some fries. I wanna try this ketchup out. Like I said, it got the bacon bits in there. Looks almost like a freaking uh, sloppy joe mixture or something. Now that's pretty good. This is pretty good. For anybody health conscious out there, to get this one right here all right so that's gonna wrap it up over here i'm so stuffed right now i got a lot of food as you saw in there they had all types of craziness look at that menu if you guys want to know exactly check out the ig all that good stuff now they do have a secret item in there called the whale burger comes with a bunch of mad extra stuff in there i think costs 100 bucks but it looks so delicious 
stay tuned for that in another video because it's definitely coming. We're going to be doing a good video with that one, so you're not going to want to miss that one. And if you haven't done so already, please consider subscribing, smash that like button, comment, fill up that bottom row with places you guys want to see me hit, all that good stuff. Let me know how I'm doing so far. Any place you guys hit that I've told you about already, let me know. All that good stuff, but until next time, I'm out of here. Later.